Did you know Israel is the birthplace of three major world religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam? This small yet significant land, nestled at the crossroads of Europe, Asia, and Africa, has been the epicenter of faith and spirituality for centuries. It has nurtured prophets, inspired scriptures, and witnessed the rise and fall of empires. At the heart of Israel's religious significance is Jerusalem, a city that has stood for over 3,000 years. A city whose name echoes through the annals of history and the verses of holy texts. A city that continues to stir hearts and souls across the globe. For Judaism, the Western Wall in Jerusalem holds an immense spiritual weight. It's the last remnant of the Second Temple, the holiest site in Jewish religious tradition. It's a place of prayer and pilgrimage, a testament to the enduring spirit of a faith that has weathered countless trials. Then there's the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. This is not just any church. This is the site where, according to Christian belief, Jesus Christ was crucified, buried, and resurrected. It's a place of profound reverence, a beacon for millions of Christians who journey to walk in the footsteps of their Savior. And we can't forget the Al-Aqsa Mosque. This grand edifice with its silver dome glistening under the Middle Eastern sun is the third holiest site in Islam. It's a symbol of the deep Islamic roots that weave through the cultural tapestry of this region. Israel's significance can't be confined to any single faith. It's a place where the past and present, the divine and human, intersect in a unique harmony. It's a land that has seen the birth of prayers and prophets, of holy wars and peace treaties, of ancient traditions and timeless wisdom. Now that we've set the stage with the religious and historical significance of Israel, let's journey through time and explore some of the most important sites in the country. Welcome to Jaffa, one of the world's oldest ports, dating back to the Bronze Age. This ancient city hums with tales as old as time. Its history is a rich tapestry woven with threads from various cultures and civilizations, from the ancient Egyptians, who erected monumental gateways in their conquest, to the Greeks and Romans, who sailed into its harbors. Jaffa has been a stage for the world's greatest powers. Walk along the cobblestone lanes and feel the echoes of history beneath your feet. Each stone has a story to tell, a story of traders bringing in exotic goods, of invasions and liberations, and of the rise and fall of empires. The air is thick with the scent of the Mediterranean Sea, mingling with the aroma of Middle Eastern spices wafting from the bustling marketplaces. Jaffa is not just a city of the past, though. It's also a city of vibrant life and culture. The famous Jaffa oranges, for instance, are as much a part of the city's identity as its ancient ruins. These sweet, succulent fruits, grown in the fertile plains surrounding the city, have become renowned worldwide, symbolizing the city's enduring vitality amidst the sands of time. And then there is the Old City, a beautifully preserved testament to Jaffa's enduring charm. A maze of narrow alleyways and hidden courtyards, the Old City is a time capsule, a window into a bygone era. Here, the past and present coexist with ancient buildings housing contemporary art galleries, trendy boutiques, and gourmet restaurants. So, immerse yourself in the timeless allure of Jaffa, a city that has witnessed the dawn and twilight of civilizations, that has stood resolute against the sands of time. It's a city that whispers tales of the past while embracing the vibrancy of the present. From Jaffa, we now travel to a city that was once the capital of the Jewish people. Hebron, home to the Cave of the Patriarchs, is one of the oldest continuously inhabited communities in the world. A city with a history that is woven into the fabric of three of the world's major religions, Hebron is a fascinating destination that offers a unique blend of ancient history and modern culture. The Cave of the Patriarchs, also known as the Sanctuary of Abraham, is an unmissable site in Hebron. This ancient cave is believed to be the burial site of biblical patriarchs and matriarchs, including Abraham and Sarah, Isaac and Rebekah, and Jacob and Leah. Its spiritual significance extends across Jewish, Christian, and Muslim faiths, each viewing it as a pivotal link to their shared ancestor, Abraham. But the Cave of the Patriarchs is not the only thing that makes Hebron special. The city is also home to a bustling marketplace, where you can experience life as the Hebronites do. Here you can find everything from fresh produce and local delicacies to traditional crafts and souvenirs. The sights, sounds, and smells of the marketplace create a vibrant atmosphere that is sure to leave a lasting impression. Another unique facet of Hebron is its ancient glassblowing industry. This centuries-old craft is still practiced today, 
with artisans using traditional techniques to create beautiful glassware. Watching these skilled craftsmen at work is a mesmerizing experience, as they transform simple materials into intricate works of art. Hebron is a city of contrasts, where traditions from the past coexist with the demands of the present. It's a place where the echoes of ancient patriarchs mingle with the chatter of market traders and where age-old crafts sit alongside modern commerce. A visit to Hebron offers a fascinating glimpse into a world where the past and the present intertwine, creating a rich tapestry of history and culture. From the ancient city of Hebron, let's move to a place of epic battles and legendary feats. All perched high on a cliff overlooking the Dead Sea, Masada stands as a symbol of Jewish heroism. This ancient fortress is more than just a collection of ruins. It's a testament to the indomitable spirit of a people who refused to yield to the might of the Roman Empire. In the first century CE, nearly a thousand Jewish rebels, known as the Sicarii, took refuge on this isolated plateau. Surrounded by the harsh desert and the azure expanse of the Dead Sea, they held out against a Roman siege for several months. Despite the overwhelming odds, the Sicarii chose to die free, rather than live as slaves. Their sacrifice has since been etched into the collective memory of the Jewish people, turning Masada into a symbol of resistance and resilience. But Masada is more than just a story of heroism and defiance, it's also a treasure trove of archaeological discoveries. Excavations have unearthed the remnants of luxurious palaces, intricate mosaic floors, and an impressive system of water cisterns. These findings paint a vivid picture of life in the ancient world, revealing the sophistication and ingenuity of its inhabitants. One of the most iconic finds is the Synagogue of Masada, one of the oldest in the world. Here, fragments of biblical scrolls were found, echoing the spiritual life that once thrived within these ancient walls. Yet the true magic of Masada is perhaps its stunning surroundings. From its summit, one can gaze upon the shimmering surface of the Dead Sea, the world's lowest elevation on land. The panoramic view is absolutely breathtaking, a sight that has inspired countless travelers throughout the centuries. Masada, therefore, is not just an archaeological site, it's a place of memory and inspiration. It stands as a testament to human resilience and the enduring power of freedom. It's a place where the past and the present converge, where history comes alive in the heart of the desert. From the heights of Masada, we descend to the lowest point on Earth. Welcome to the Dead Sea, the lowest point on Earth, where you can float effortlessly on the water. This is more than just a body of water, it's a natural spa, a wellness retreat provided by Mother Nature herself. The Dead Sea, bordering Jordan to the east and Israel and Palestine to the west, is no ordinary sea. Its name might sound ominous, but it's quite the opposite. This sea is a source of life and rejuvenation. It's an extraordinary body of water with a salt concentration that is ten times higher than that of normal seawater. This high salt content means that no marine life can survive here, hence the name Dead Sea. But it's this very quality that gives the Dead Sea its unique therapeutic properties. When you step into the water, you'll find yourself floating effortlessly. You don't need to be an expert swimmer to enjoy these waters. You can simply lie back and let the water support you. The high salt concentration makes the water incredibly buoyant, providing a unique and relaxing experience that is hard to find anywhere else in the world. But the magic of the Dead Sea doesn't stop at the water's edge. The mud found here is rich in minerals and is renowned for its therapeutic and beautifying properties. People from all over the world come to slather themselves in this mud, letting it dry in the sun before washing it off in the sea, leaving their skin feeling soft, rejuvenated, and revitalized. Not far from the shores of the Dead Sea lie the Qumran Caves. These caves hold a significant place in history as the discovery site of the Dead Sea Scrolls. These ancient Jewish texts offer a fascinating glimpse into the past and are a testament to the rich history that permeates this region. From the tranquility of the Dead Sea, we now journey to the vibrant heart of modern Israel. Welcome to Tel Aviv, Israel's bustling metropolis, known for its beaches, nightlife, and high-tech startups. This city, nestled on the Mediterranean coastline, is a vibrant blend of the old and new, effortlessly marrying history with modernity. Tel Aviv, often referred to as the Miami of the Middle East, is a city that truly never sleeps. Its beaches are a haven for sun lovers, surfers, and beach volleyball enthusiasts. From the golden sands of Gordon Beach to the quieter Metzitzim Beach, each offers a unique experience, bound to leave you with unforgettable memories. But the city is not just about the beaches. 
Tel Aviv is also home to the world's largest collection of Bauhaus architecture, a style characterized by its functional simplicity and harmony. This white city, as it's fondly known, boasts over 4,000 Bauhaus-style buildings, making it a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The food scene in Tel Aviv is nothing short of a gastronomic adventure. From the aromatic street food at Carmel Market to the upscale dining experiences in Nevitzidek, the city offers a smorgasbord of flavors and cuisines that cater to every palate. Whether you're a foodie or not, a trip to Tel Aviv is incomplete without indulging in the local dishes. Lastly, let's not forget Tel Aviv's role as a global tech hub. The city is a breeding ground for startups, earning it the nickname Silicon Wadi. It's a testament to the spirit of innovation and entrepreneurship that thrives within the city's confines. From life-changing medical technology to groundbreaking cybersecurity solutions, Tel Aviv is at the forefront of technological advancement. As we say goodbye to Tel Aviv, we are reminded of the rich tapestry of history, culture, and religion that makes Israel a destination like no other. As we wrap up our journey through Israel, we are left in awe of the country's rich history and cultural diversity. In Jerusalem, we've traced the footsteps of prophets, kings, and messiahs, where the echoes of three major religions reverberate through ancient walls. We've strolled through the age-old streets of Jaffa, a city older than time itself, brimming with stories of patriarchs and legends. In Hebron, we've witnessed a living testament to the past, a city of patriarchs that has withstood the test of time. The heroic Masada has told us tales of bravery, of a last stand against a mighty empire. We floated in the unique Dead Sea, nature's own spa, and reveled in the vibrant energy of Tel Aviv, the city that never sleeps. Whether you're drawn by the call of history, the allure of the divine, the charm of ancient cities, or the pulse of a modern metropolis, Israel invites you to embark on a journey like no other.